there you are. Hi guys, welcome. I want to sing our welcome song. I'm so glad you're here today. Let's get Charlie and he wants to sing with us. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. Then we'll bend and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now you're here, we'll have some fun. Yay, Charlie is so excited that we're having fun. I like to have fun too. And I wanted to share a story about some animals. This story is called The Hat. And they didn't write the words on the book or on the back. All you see is a hedgehog and he has a funny hat on. What does that hat look like? Kind of looks like a sock to me. You see, it kind of looks like a sock. Well, they chose, so Jan Brett wrote this story and it looks like they wrote it on the side of the book, the hat. So let's find out what a hedgehog has a sock on his head. And the story they wrote is the hat. Winter was on the way. Lisa took her woolen clothes out of the chest and carried them outside. She was hanging them up in the fresh air when a strong wind blew one of her stockings off the line. There it goes, blowing off the line. Curious Hedgie found it and he poked his nose inside. Hmm. When he pulled it out, the stocking was stuck on his prickles. How embarrassing, had you thought? The mother hen came by with her chicks. Cackle, 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 she chucked, clucked, and laughed. What's that on your head, Hedgy? Why, it's my new hat, he told her. Isn't it beautiful? The mother hen cocked her head as if she had an idea, and off she ran. Hedgy saw the noisy gander looking down at him. Honk, honk, ho, 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 the gander laughed. <laughs> Look at that, the hedgehog has flipped his gizzard. Laugh today, gander, but tomorrow when it rains, my hat will keep me dry. The gander thought for a moment, and off he ran. The barn cat was watching from a tree as Hedgie tucked, tugged at the stocking. Meow, he called down. What a silly looking hedgehog you are with that thing on your head. But my ears will be warm in a snowstorm. Hmm, purred the cat. And off he ran. I wonder where all these animals are going. They have ideas. The farm dog and her puppies found Hedgie in a patch of brambles. Hedgie, is that a hat you're wearing? How funny you look, she barked and her puppies yelped and giggled. But I'll be cozy and dry when it snows, Hedgie said. The farm dog's ears perked up and off he ran. Oink, 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 the piglet squealed. What are you up to, Hedgie? The mama pig asked. Making sure my hat doesn't fall off if an icy wind blows up. I see, said the mama pig, and off she ran. Hedgie, what is that ridiculous thing on your head? The pony snorted at Hedgie. That was the last straw. 
It's my hat, of course. Don't you know that everyone should wear a hat in winter when it's cold and snowy? Hedgie shouted. Oh, the pony looked startled. Hedgie was usually so friendly. And off he ran. Hedgie just wanted to be alone. He was tired of everyone laughing at him. And with his thing on his head, he wouldn't even fit in his den. He didn't see Lisa running after him, the other stocking in her hand. Come back, you silly hedgehog, she called. Oh no, Hedgie thought, even the girl is laughing at me. Lisa caught up and pulled her stocking off Hedgie's head. You ridiculous little hedgehog, she laughed. Don't you know that animals don't wear clothes? I think Hedgie liked that hat on, didn't he? Hedgie laughed for his den. He headed for his den and Lisa started back toward the clothesline. That's when she saw all of her missing woolens. Where do you suppose her, all of her woolens, which are clothes, went? Ha! The animals are taking them. And each one was thinking, now I am wearing a magnificent hat. Aha! They wanted to keep warm. Yes, very interesting. Lisa was still chasing when Hedgie reached his den. How ridiculous they look. Don't they know that animals should never wear clothes? Oh, how fun. That's a cute story about the animals wanting to wear a hat. When they saw Hedgie's hat, they decided they would go find her woolens and wear a hat. And at the end of the story, well, how did Hedgie feel about wearing hats? Did he like to wear hats? He's like, oh, that's so silly. Yeah, but he tried to think that maybe he would wear the hat and it wasn't ridiculous, right? Well, that's a fun story. Well, you know what? I want to show you something else that's really fun. In the Arctic, it's really cold. And there's lots of snow. And so um, you can build different things. You can build, you can build igloos. Yeah. Or you can build structures. So I like to pretend, I took some marshmallows. I don't know if you have marshmallows, but we make these in the preschool. And you can string them on toothpicks. So you'll need toothpicks and a marshmallow. And you can actually make structures. Any kind of structure. You kind of have to have a base, but you can poke. See how I'm poking? the marshmallow in. You don't want to eat too many marshmallows because they're made of sugar. And too much sugar is really bad for your body. So if your parents said you could have one, I wouldn't have more than like five of them in the preschool. That's how many we allow to have of the marshmallows because they're full of sugar. But as you make your structure, you can keep, you can make doors and windows. See, I almost have my window made. And you can make pretty much anything you want. You might want to have two stories on your structure. Or you might want to, you could do um, triangles or squares, whatever you want to make. And you can connect them. See how I connected my triangle with, and you can set it down. I use a big paper plate. 
and then I just keep building as I build and, um, I connect more more marshmallows and look at that you can even make a double handled one and then I'm going to poke it in there and make a tall tower you see that okay so whatever you want to make you can make marshmallows and toothpicks and I think you can get both of those at the dollar store they're really inexpensive yeah so that's a fun thing to do oh my hands are all sticky now because the marshmallows are sticky well I want to Thinking of the animals in our story, I thought of a song I love to sing at preschool. And you, some of you who were here before, you remember this song. It's called Down on Grandpa's Farm. And what I have here is some animals. So I have, I have a pink pig. Can you see that? Okay. Let's see. Let's pull it over here. There's a pink pig and a black and white cow and a brown horse and a gray sheep. You see that? So it, the song goes like this. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to grandpa's farm. We're on our way, we're on our way, on our way to grandpa's farm. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a, what size should we make our pig? A big pink pig. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a big pink pig. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a big pink pig. That pig, it makes us sound like this. Boink, 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 boink. That pig. It makes us sound like this. Quink, 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 quink. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a black and white cow. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a black and white cow. That cow, it makes us sound like this. Hmm. <laughs> That cow, it makes us sound like this. Ready? <coughs> Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little brown horse. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little brown horse. That horse. It makes us sound like this. Nay! Nay! That horse, it makes us sound like this. Nay! Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little gray sheep. Down on Grandpa's farm, there is a little gray sheep. That sheep, it makes us sound like this <laughs> down on that sheep it makes us sound like this <laughs> that's so fun you can put all kinds of things on grandpa's farm and you can sing it in the car you can sing it when you're taking a bath you can sing it. Oh, I'm hoping it snows today. Maybe you can sing it while you make a snowman. They're calling for snow, but it hasn't snowed where I'm at. Maybe it's snowed where you are. Yeah, wintertime is so fun, but make sure you dress warm when you go outside because that's what ruins the fun when you get wet and you get cold and then... It's not a lot of fun when you, so you want to have gloves and a hat and a nice warm coat and maybe some snow pants and some snow boots. Winter time is so fun. There's many things to do in the winter time. Have you ever tried to catch the snow with your mouth 
or make a snow angel. You lay down in the snow and you just spread your legs and your arms and move your legs and your arms. Maybe you like to go sledding in the snow or maybe you like to, to throw snowballs. You pack them real hard and you throw snowballs. You just have to be careful not to hit somebody in the eye. That's what happens if you hit someone in the eye and it hurts them. Yeah, they might, they might feel bad. Yeah, that's a fun time in the snow. And it's a fun time to sing Grandpa's Farm, and you can make all kinds of animal sounds. All right, well, let's go ahead. I think it's time to say goodbye. So we're going to sing our goodbye song. You guys remember, oh, we forgot our letter. Let's try, what is our letter this week? Do you remember? N. Nigel Night Owl, he takes, he's got big eyes, and he takes his, and he goes, N Night, Nut, Nigel Night Owl. N, the letter N. We have last week's is M. That's Missy Mouse, chews on her cheese and goes, M, Mouse, and Mom. It's fun to write mom. You know why I love to write mom? It's so easy because you just, if you look at the M, it just has kind of two mountains. So it goes one mountain, two mountain. And then you, for mom, you just make, let me slide this over. It's so easy, you guys. Here's my pen. Let me just show you how easy it is to write mom. Can you see that okay? So you go mountain, M, and then you do a circle, there's a O, and then you do another mountain, M. Mom. Mom. I love writing it. So easy. You should try it. So you do M, which is a mountain, one, two, a circle and an M. Mom. It's a fun thing to write. All right. Okay, you guys, I think it's time. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Ready? Should we sing our song? Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Can you make us smile and wink an eye? Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Okay, friends, I love that you came and I love you and I hope to see you soon. And thank you for coming and having a story time and singing. And we have a good time here. Yay. I love to see you guys. Okay, bye-bye. Talk to you later.